We're glad to have you with us here as we showcase MITRE ATT&CK techniques. In each video in this series, we will choose a tactic and showcase several techniques, simulating them on CyberBit range so you can experience these techniques just like an analyst would in real life, allowing you to take action much faster during an actual event. CyberBit range provides a virtual SOC experience, immersing cyber professionals in live attacks across the entire cyber attack lifecycle in a complete corporate grade virtual network. This gives us the power to showcase the attacks you're going to see today. In this video, we'll focus on collection. So what's collection? Well, as defined by MITRE, collection consists of techniques adversaries may use to gather information, plus the sources the information is collected from. Today we will review three different collection techniques. Input capture, email collection, and automated collection. Let's take a look at our first technique, input capture, and discover how malicious threat actors use a keylogger. You've noticed that usernames and passwords from your company are being sold on the dark web, and it's now your job to find the leak and plug it. Let's jump into CyberBit range to enact this scenario. So we join our cybersecurity analysts as they zoom in on the workstations, find the leak, and discover exactly what powers this malicious process might have. Our analysts start by looking at the process strings. They notice a file inside the temp directory called clout that is being uploaded to an off-site FTP server. Now that we can see the file and its directory, we know it requires further investigation. So we open a command prompt, enter the file path, and pull up the local disk, as well as the temp folder where the file is located. Once the file is opened, we can see user commands, numbers entered into the machine, and other keyboard commands, which tell us that this file is actually a keylogger, capturing all input into the machine. To be 100% sure, we type take me to your leader into the search bar and then reopen the clout file. As suspected, the file is capturing all keystroke inputs into the system. Take me to your leader is clearly displayed, revealing just how an attacker uses a keylogger to capture information. Next, we will experience email collection, showing you how emails are collected from a remote mail server. Your company just found out that all of their confidential emails have been published online. It's your job to discover how. Let's log on to CyberBit range to see how this plays out. So we join our analysts as they begin their investigation by logging into the remote mail server. They'll open PuTTY to log on and then pull the log files. There we can see the attacker was using stolen credentials logged as user 055 via Secure Service or SSH protocol. The thing is, user 055 is not supposed to log in using SSH. Inside the logs, we can see the attacker used the tar command, normally used by attackers to compress or zip data, information, or files into a single file, making it significantly easier to extract. In this case, the tar command was used to take the emails of users 001 through 100 and zip it into a single file ready to go for the attacker to extract. Following the compression, the attacker, still masquerading as user 055, deletes the output file from the mail server to cover their tracks. Without the log files, it would have been far more difficult to discover just how the attacker exfiltrated the emails to publish online. Finally, let's take a look at automated collection, learning how an attacker searches for and identifies specific files in their paths to be automatically collected at the time of extraction. You've noticed that your company's proprietary information is being sold on the dark web. Let's jump onto CyberBit range to figure out exactly how the information is being collected. As you can see in the code lines highlighted here, the attacker is defining a variable called file extensions, where you can see he is looking for files that end with programming language extensions. Each file is now uniquely defined inside the file share, where the code can route a path to the file, saving it for extraction later. Once he's finished building his variables, he needs to fill them with value. We see he begins to loot through all of the file shares to define the various paths and folders available. He's using the for each command to separate files and ensure they're not duplicated. Each file has a unique file inside the file share, allowing the code to route a path to that file, saving it for extraction later. The code is instructed to sort through the files found across the entire network. Using the file types defined in lines 6 through 8, the code enumerates all files with the mentioned extensions inside the folder list created earlier. What the attacker has just done is called automated collection. He has identified and mapped every single relevant file that he would like to steal. He set up the code in such a way that it will all be copied to his remote server automatically. The collection itself happens all at once but the code spends time mapping and discovering where all the files are so that the extraction can be immediate. 
Thank you all for watching. Today we got to show you how our cybersecurity analysts respond to MITRE attack tactics and collection techniques. Stay tuned for more CyberBit range videos to help you enhance your cyber capabilities. To learn more, visit us at www.cyberbit.com.